Hi guys, it is an unbelievably gorgeous late winter day in South Austin, Texas, Sunday, March 3rd, 2013. I was just down here on this rock. Well, Preacher Hambone was up on Doomsday Rock doing his Sunday morning sermon, reading from one of my Bibles of the Apocalypse by Lindsey Grant called Juggernaut Growth on a finite planet, sharing with you about a half hour of his spot on analysis of how this no limit economic capitalistic growth model on this finite on this finite planet uh, combined with overpopulation, particularly in the third world, is is ramping up and there's no end in sight except the you know the obvious ecological collapse of this globe which is at the end of all this is something that doesn't change so while I was uploading that onto uh, right on here onto YouTube I go onto YouTube and what do I find is a two-minute little film clip which absolutely and gloriously illustrates exactly what Lindsey Grant and Hammond Little Tail and uh, how many other doomsday prophets are talking about uh, in, in less than two minutes. Uh, that 300 page book is distilled as if you want to see a, a, a just an open and shut example of everything I am warning about Lindsey Grant is warning about Paul Ehrlich is warning about I could go on and on anyway this clip uh, comes from this group this lefty and they're it, it called Al Jazeera English. It is this alternative media organization, a, a very lefty alternative media organization. I don't know. I need to find out more about this Al Jazeera, who they are, uh, and, and, and how they're plugged in. That'll be a future rant. I generally like these guys, but what I've noticed is whenever you know and, and, and it illustrates that you know this this classic lefty contradiction you, you know the, this moral quandary that us lefties get into when the when the argument becomes poor people versus the environment you know it's always if if, if it's the big global multinational corporations versus the environment then the global corporations are the bad guys and mother nature is the good girl when it's the way these these uh, corporate bastards are uh, are misusing workers and, and blah 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 like talking about some Chinese sweatshop burning down or whatever it's easy to point fingers at those blue meanies who the bad guy and who the good guy is but when you got the bad guy, uh, in this case, big coal, uh, although it could be anybody, when, when they're abusing both the, the poor folks and the environment at the same time, like so many of these lefties, the wow, then it, then it doesn't become a you know a mother nature versus the global corporatocracy or or david versus goliath then it becomes a choice between mother nature and the poor people uh and and this is such a classic case of how you know when lefties such as myself are confronted with these moral dilemmas where they come out now Al Jazeera clearly this reporter uh, came out on the side of, of the poor folks uh, 
So anyway, let me set this up. I, I'll put the link to this video, and I highly encourage you to spend the minute and 55 seconds. I, I, could, I should just play it for you here. But anyway, it is called Coal Strike in Colombia Ravages Local Economy. They did not say coal strike in Colombia rapes and pillages and ravages Mother Earth. That was not the title of their thing. They did not title their video Coal Strike in Colombia uh, ravages, ravages the Indians. It's not the strike that ravages Mother Earth and, and all of these Indians down there taking it in the short and curlies. It is the multinational, I'm going to take a wild guess, Chinese coal company that is ravaging Mother Earth and the Indians and that got these uh, people in this mess that they're in. So here we go. After three weeks on strike, coal workers in northern Colombia are sticking to their demands. They want better wages, health benefits, and more consideration of the mine's environmental impact. I did not get that at all from this two minutes, that thing about the, the strikers want more consideration of the mine's environmental impact. It's the Indians being sold down the river literally by this project that want uh, more consideration of the mine's environmental impact. Okay, but as the impasse continues, the local community may suffer the most. The local community may suffer the most. Algeria's Alessandro Rampiete reports from La Guajira, Colombia. So uh, you can go watch this two minute video for yourself and draw your conclusions. So these are the conclusions that this lefty environmental Nazi, this lefty eco-Nazi, this is my uh, review of this two-minute documentary and I'm hoping uh, I am going to fill in some of the gaps trying to put a story like this into less than two minutes. What you have to leave out the, uh, the, the 500 years that you have to leave out to try to put a complicated story like this into two minutes. It does not fit into a sound bite. Hopefully they will do a more in-depth story on this. But uh, the players in here are, are, are this giant coal corporation. Now, since they did not educate me, I am going to take a wild guess that this coal corporation, this big coal multinational corporation is from China. This is a wild guess on my part. They identify this mine, I can't remember the name of it, one of these planet-eating mines as the single biggest, the single biggest open pit coal mine on planet Earth. It makes this mountaintop removal going on here in this country in West Virginia look like a, you know, look, look, look like a, an armadillo uh, digging around in your rose bushes in comparison. This is, they, they only, they give you out of this two minutes, they pan over this, this absolute scene, uh, this moonscape scene uh, of complete environmental destruction. Uh, that's the total they give it. Okay, they mention in, uh, in the thing uh, about the, I think it was the 500 million tons, although it might have been 500 billion tons. I, I think it's, they were talking about the 500 million tons of this coal that has not already been mined. They didn't say how much of this shit has already been dug up, and I assume sent to China. Uh, 
but they did mention that there's uh, an estimated 500 million tons of this and where it is is, is directly under the, this land crossed by this river which is the you know the lifeblood uh, of this Indian tribe living there. What a surprise. How many times have we gone through this story? Now these guys are not very they're, 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 they're sure as hell not some lost tribe of the Amazon, but they are still uh, these Amazon Indians, you know, trying to hold on to what is left of their culture. And this coal company needs to get them out of the way. And it said they had to move the river in order to get down and to, to grab hold of this coal. Uh, not only is it going to be the end of these Indians, they need to move the entire river, 26 kilometers that these planet eaters need to go in there and move a river, 26 kilometers, what is that, about 18, 19 miles? They're talking about redirecting a, a river, Jesus, for uh, 18 or 19 miles, uh, getting rid of these Indians in the way, and going in there and absolutely obliterating uh, what's left of that ecosystem in this area so they can ship all this coal, assumedly, off to China. So 500 million more tons of this coal can be burned and sent into this planet's atmosphere. There was not, they, they never mentioned anywhere, and they, well, and they only had a minute and 55 seconds. They, they had no time. You do not hear the words global warming or climate change about this. Nowhere alluded to about, about where this coal is going, what's going to happen uh, when it gets burned, the ripple effects uh, onto this entire planet. Now they do talk about the cultural genocide of this Indian tribe. So anyway, they admit all this, but where do their sympathies, do their little lefty sympathies lie in this? And obviously, clearly, at least with this Alessandro guy, uh, they lie with the few workers, I mean the miners, who, who no doubt live, live uh, lives of an absolute, unrelenting, unremitting hell working for this foreign multinational corporation over there in China. Wherever it is, the guys, if it's not China, well, it, it almost has to be China. <coughs> uh, that, that's almost not that important. Uh, so this is where their sympathies lie. And uh, so I guess these coal miners are now in some sort of labor dispute. Uh, they want more of this money. They want this multi, no doubt, this multi-billion dollar multinational corporation to fork over a little bit more of this money so they can go out and buy this made-in-China plastic crap that is being produced in these factories where this coal is going, being produced in some Chinese factory with, with, with another group of, uh, uh, for all intents and purposes, slaves working in some sweatshop factory over there in China being powered by the coal, you know, going out of their backyard. You know, guys, it, it, it's uh, nowhere it, it is what Lindsey Grant and anybody else with a brain more clearly uh, illustrated here. Somebody, something has got to give. You know, something has got to give. My little bleeding heart, a little, a little bleeding heart lefty, ticker here. Yes, I, I, I feel sorry for these, for these guys being enslaved, these miners being enslaved by this multi-billion dollar corporation. But put against 
the backdrop and it, it even getting this Indian tribe out of the equation, even if these Indians uh, weren't involved uh, in the equation. That just uh, muddies the pot even farther, you know, to make these make these lefties, you know, get all uh, conflicted about uh, about what do you do with this? Just in one look, one look at, at this pit, at this absolute environmental destruction of this mine, should be enough. Just to, just to talk about the the uh, the global warming and just the whole mindset. This whole rape and pillage mindset it opens up the uh, it opens up the whole thing that Al Jazeera needs to be talking about uh, the you know the fossil fuels our our dependence on fossil fuels especially coal coal for God's sake Al Jazeera you want to do a you know you want to do some lefty documentary talk about you know big coal and uh, everything about it you know uh, I'm sorry guys the, the, for these miners makes a little bit of an argument for uh, for population control Jesus you know and I'm sure all these miners they, they have a bunch of little you know, a bunch of little barefoot kids running around because I'm quite sure, uh, I'm thinking, I'm going to take a wild guess here, that the population of Colombia, and I'm guessing, uh, is three times what it was when I was born 53 years ago, if not four times. You know, so the economy of Colombia needs to be propped up by China. This is Colombia. This is Ecuador. This is Peru. This is Venezuela. This is Bolivia. This is the entire damn continent of Africa. Guys, this is a story being, uh, being repeated a, a million times over today as I'm sitting on this rock. It, 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 it's these planet-eating multinational corporations going in there. They don't give a shit any more about their workers than they do about the environment. They're interested in the bottom line. They want to get in there, rape and pillage, get as much of the goods as they can out of there and uh, send it off to China when there's no more coal left to get. They, they, have they have destroyed all of this ecosystem. They have sent the, the, this uh, Indian village down the river that they uh, rerouted 18 miles off into the distance. And can you imagine the pollution runoff without even getting into there? And when the mine closes up, all of those damn miners, you know, over there rightfully demanding higher wages, their wages are going to go to zero, zero, zero when the coal is gone and these planet eaters move on back to China and I guess they start mining the goddamn asteroid belt. You know? Gonna happen sooner or later, dude. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's, there's, there's looking one week down the road. Do you get it? This isn't rocket science, even for you little bleeding heart lefties. We got a planet to save. You know, there's going to be a few short term local economic victims. And, and, and these miners, you know who I feel sorry for, you know? They're just, they're, 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 they're just one more, one more uh, little, little sample of cannon fodder. We got to bring industrial civilization down. There, there, there is nothing else. Derek Jensen had it right anyway. 
I will wrap up this rant and I uh, hope you've shut me up by now anyway and gone and looked at this video and decided for yourself, guys, it's ugly out there and it's getting uglier and it's a hell of a lot uglier than this one little labor strike out there in this little village in Colombia. Bye guys.